The Moto S50 is a new Android smartphone from Motorola. It comes with several cameras and is also equipped with a very bright screen. The battery can be charged with high charging power. Motorola has launched the Moto S50 in China. It is a compact smartphone with the latest Dimensity 7 series chipset and a versatile camera setup that includes a telephoto camera. The Motorola Moto S50 also comes with premium hardware inside, including 5G connectivity. Motorola is hoping that the inclusion of 5G and its other premium features will be enough to attract new customers. So, let's begin with a detailed review of the Motorola Moto S50 smartphone and see if this smartphone is worth purchasing. The Motorola Moto S50 is a rebrand of the Motorola Edge 50 Neo, and there's no difference in terms of design. However, it's a good design language that will surely impress a lot of people. The Motorola Moto S50 is available in nautical blue, latte, and poinciana colors. As for the display, it has a 6.36 inches LTPO P-OLED display with 120 Hz high refresh rate support. This panel has a 1.5K resolution, HDR10+, and up to 1 billion colors, so it will offer a decent viewing experience, and watching videos and movies will be a pleasure. The display can also get as bright as 3000 nits, which will be more than enough for using the phone outdoors under direct sunlight. The phone will be protected from dust and water since it has an IP68 rating. The Motorola Moto S50 is equipped with the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 5G chipset that is capable of reaching clock speeds up to 4 times 2.5 GHz. This is a decent chipset considering the price of the smartphone, and its 4 times 2.5 GHz clock speed will keep everyday apps such as Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and more running smoothly. Even gaming performance is quite powerful considering the price point of the phone. It has the Mali G615 MC2 GPU, which can comfortably run games like PUBG Mobile, Codem, Black Desert Mobile, Summoner's War, and even Genshin Impact relatively smoothly. You can also game for longer hours without any overheating issues. The smartphone also supports 5G connectivity, so you will get high download speeds and low latency during online gaming. Apart from that, the Motorola Moto S50 can be purchased with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB to 512GB of fast UFS internal storage. The Motorola Moto S50 is running on Android 14 with a stock user interface, which provides a clean Android user experience. The Motorola Moto S50 comes with a 50 megapixel triple rear camera system. The primary 50 megapixel camera can capture some fantastic pictures with decent detail levels, high dynamic range, and a natural looking color tone. We were honestly surprised by this camera's picture quality and it should easily beat other phones in the same price range. However, the range of colors could have been a bit better. Users who prefer saturated color tones will be slightly disappointed. Motorola went natural looking color science with this phone. The secondary camera consists of a 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor, which is as good as the primary camera, but with a 123D wide field of view. However, there's a slight color shift between the main and this ultra wide camera. The last camera consists of a 10 megapixel telephoto sensor, which is quite impressive and shoots photos at 3 bys optical zoom. The pictures from all three rear cameras are quite good, and the same can also be said during the night. However, don't expect it to be on the same level as Pixel phones. On the front of the Motorola Moto S50, there's a 32 megapixel selfie camera. This sensor is capable of taking some decent selfies with a good amount of detail, decent white balance performance, and a natural looking skin tone. When it comes to video recording, the Motorola Moto S50 can record videos at up to 4K at 30 FPS from both the rear and selfie cameras. Also, there's OIS and gyro EIS video stabilization for the rear cameras, which allows for smoother footage, but the same cannot be said for the selfie. The Moto S50 has a 4310mAh battery. This high-capacity battery is capable of lasting for 1-2 days with light to medium usage that includes camera, social media, watching videos, and so on. However, the battery will drain faster and won't even last a full day if you play a lot of games but you will be glad to know that the smartphone supports 68 watt wired fast charging. It can fully charge the battery in about 40 minutes. There's also 15 watt wireless charging support. Apart from that, 
The phone also has an under-display fingerprint scanner, triple-band Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, GPS, and a USB Type-C port. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.